I guess it's a good evening. Can you hear me, Miss? Hello. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Hi. good evening. There you go. How are you? How are you doing? Uh, fine, teacher. Well, it's a good day. Oh, it was a good day. Yeah. Nice. That's really good to hear. Okay. Okay. How about you, teacher? I guess it's fine. Just here, it is like super, super humid, super hot. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I guess it's fine. Besides the weather, everything's good. Azucena, can you hear me? I see Susana's microphone is on, but I haven't been able to listen to her. Hi, teacher. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, your microphone was on, but I couldn't hear you before. So, but I'm glad yeah. you're there. All right. Thank you. Thank you for I, joining. I think I, I, I spoke at the same time as... Um, as Yolanda. As Yolanda. Oh, ah, yes. okay. Oh, probably. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. It, it That's could have why. been. Yeah, that could have been mm -hmm. the reason. Uh, Claudia, good evening. Fernando, hello. Irving, great to see you guys. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot for joining. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Sophie. So welcome. I hope you're having a nice Thursday. Did you have a good day? Not, not me. I have a exhaustive day. Oh, why? Why was it exhausting? Did you have a lot of things to do? Yes, the homeworks. Oh, uh, from university? <laughs> no teacher in my house. Oh, okay. Like all the activities at home, the, the chores, like the cleaning, yeah. the, okay. So, oh, okay. Normally I leave the chores for Saturday and Sunday <laughs> because during the week is like really hard to um, do the like big things. So, all right. What about the rest of you guys? Did you have a good one? Did you have a nice day? I have a two test from university. So you, okay, so you had exams, you had midterms. Yeah, midterms. Okay, so sorry to hear about that. All right. Well, guys, um, I hope tomorrow gets better and we are not having classes tomorrow. So you're going to have like two, well, one extra hour, let's say that way. <laughs> okay. Hi, Dago. Good evening. Great to have you. Thanks a lot for joining. Good evening. Good evening. Great to hear you. Oh, really nice to listen to you. All right, so well guys, um, today we are going to like move forward a little bit um, and we are going to get into another topic that is very interesting. So we're going to talk a little bit about emotions, gestures and things. Yesterday we were talking about slangs in El Salvador. Today we're going to talk about gestures that we normally use in El Salvador, like some body language, um, signs that we do with our hands, with our face, with your lips, etc. So to get us started, I just have some questions for you. Um, so let's see how it goes. Wait a second here. Okay, there you go. Um, I have just three questions, guys. So you tell me if that applies for you or not and how. The first one says, does it make you angry when you have made an appointment to see a doctor? Uh, at Seguro Social, at a hospital, or private doctor, and he keeps you waiting for ages. Do you feel annoyed? Does it make you feel angry when that happens? 
or are you very patient? I'm not patient. You're not patient? No. Okay, so when you have to wait, like in a, in a queue, for example, or when you go to Seguro Social, so what, what gets into you? What gets into your mind? Uh, and the reality, get... I want to die him. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just kidding. So uh, I don't know, but I only think about other things. For example, I think about the jobs I think about oh my goodness if they give me um incapacidad how do you say okay. incapacidad? a doctor's leave a doctor's leave okay I think in a doctor's leave only for a doctor's leave I'm waiting here <laughs> oh okay so you think about the purpose why you went there okay oh okay so that would be the purpose Guys, what about the rest of you? How do you feel when you have to wait for a long period of time? So you I have feel to wait angry. for ages. You get angry. Hi, Rafael. Yeah, hi. Okay. So when you get angry, um, I, how do you react? Or how do people know that you are angry? I am very punctual. Okay. And I hope everyone is the same. Oh, okay. So. And. Uh -huh. And. Um, I and in that moment I want to leave because uh, when I wait 30 45 minutes, mm -hmm. I think the person is irresponsible. Oh, okay, so 30 minutes is okay waiting for you, but no more than that. No more, mm, okay, that's a good point. So, um, you look very calm, eh, Rafael. So when you are angry, how do people know that you are angry? How do you react? Um, I do don't you, know. Uh -huh, do you uh, have any uh, special gesture when you're angry? Um, I, I I tell the I tell the people that I I feel angry. So you complain. Yes. Oh, yes. okay. So you complain. Okay. Okay. Nice. For example, my face, for some reason, it looks very serious, you know? So if you see me somewhere, I look as if I am angry, but it is not like that. Just my face is that way, you know? We have angry faces sometimes. <laughs> so um, the point is, how do people know that you're angry? How do people know that you're upset, for example? Do you react in a certain way? Let's take a look at the second one, guys. Does it upset you when you see people hitting children or animals? Do you feel angry? Do you feel annoyed, upset? Does angry. it upset you? Okay. So you feel angry? Yeah. Yes, me angry. too. Okay, do I you do angry. anything? Mm -hmm. I pain? never see people hitting children. Animals? animals? Okay, you mm -hmm. have never seen. I never seen, but I see when the people is still, still oh, robot. Uh-huh. Yes, stealing. Stealing, and I. ¿Cómo se dice? Me meto. Si me meto. You you intervene. I intervene. All right. So you kind of get in the middle of the situation. Wow. Yeah. It can be dangerous. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Okay. Well, that can be really dangerous. Silvia, tell us. I feel outraged. Oh, you feel outraged. Okay. Do you do anything about it? I fight with these kind of people. Oh, really? Okay. I yeah. And never, uh, and no one, nunca me defienden a mí. Okay, so nobody yo, defends yo... you. So you start, okay, nobody defends you. All right. Uh, Azucena, tell us. I don't know. Uh, well, I don't know. in my case, uh, I'm going to answer uh, the first one. Okay. Um, 
I don't, I, I, I'm consider I don't be angry, but at the first time, because mm -hmm. it depends the time that the person uh, make me wait. Mm -hmm. I consider also I'm a comprehensible mm -hmm. person, okay. but I have limits also. Of course. And for example, if I have to wait uh, just uh, from five to 10 minutes, mm -hmm. for me, it's okay because I think the other person maybe had to do um, other things. Oh, okay, yeah. Or, or yeah. maybe had a, a, an inconvenience. Okay. But for example, yeah. if I have to wait around one hour, mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, make me angry <laughs> okay so you get a little mad okay i see yeah, i see exactly. very interesting okay uh -huh. so it depends then, yeah. but you are patient i would say uh, no but like wait in el salvador you know especially if you have to meet somebody because of traffic so i guess a 15 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes would yeah. be like a reasonable time right that you can wait for somebody and, and I think that sometimes people take uh, advantage about yes. that. <laughs> Especially at work, I guess. <laughs> it is not fair. It's uh -huh. not fair. That's a good And point. in the second one, I, ha I have a, a bad experience, I, I said, uh, mm -hmm. because I, I, I was in Metro Centro Santa Ana. Okay. And mm -hmm. um, I remember I was waiting for my husband. But I uh, saw a, a woman uh, with her uh, child, little child, around okay. um, one year old. Oh, so that's a, a baby. toddler. Okay. A, a that's baby. A, uh -huh, a toddler. That's a toddler. And um, um, she, she has uh, her baby. Uh, with the belt. Oh, the, she was hitting the, the, the toddler, the baby. Not hitting, but um, uh, like if you um, go out with your dog uh, and um, a belt, but in this way, around a hand. Uh, oh, uh, like on a leash. So the baby uh, was on a leash. I saw uh -huh. that. I saw that in San Salvador. That's right. Uh -huh. On a leash. And, uh -huh, on a leash. And I was very angry because the woman uh, was on her phone all the time. And she didn't pay attention to the baby. And the baby started to cry. But, <laughs> but in a way uh, <laughs> that I that feel so... So sad about the child. Oh, that, it was so that is a very nice point. What you just mentioned, Susana. Guys, have you ever seen this? Uh, because the first time that I saw it in El Salvador was last year. Um, normally, when you have a dog or or any pet, you put like a leash, right? You put a leash around yes. the neck and you carry I, the I animal on the leash. But I saw two kids. I saw a woman. Uh, she had like like a sort of rope, right? Mm -hmm. uh, she had a leash, and the baby was like 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 carrying that thing. So I was like, wait, is that an animal? So I was super surprised. Like an animal, mm -hmm. yeah. Have you seen that, guys? I say someone, a woman, a woman. A woman. Yo le dije, disculpe. I told her. Mucho. I told her. I told her, excuse me, is a dog or is a children? I said that. So you asked her, really? What What did yeah. she reply? What did she say? Um, the did woman she ignore you? Quedó viendo como si me quería. <laughs> okay <laughs> she made this face okay so she made some faces oh uh -huh. okay yeah but i was super you know i was shocked when i saw that because i was like wait how can you get your kids you know on a leash so guys what about the rest of you have you seen that in el salvador hi daniel good evening hi elvis 
Tell us about your experiences, guys. Vero, hello, Monica. With my neighbor, with my neighbor, it was uh, a Saltana. She was robbed. Yes, and the man have a, a me, come, cuchillo. A knife. 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 Uh, oh, but you mentioned last time that you can uh, you can do martial arts, right? Maybe that. <laughs> Maybe. Wait, can you fight? I fight. Yes, right. So you can really? do you can do martial arts. I think. Yes, I, I remember you I mentioned. Think. Is it karate or taekwondo or boxing? Taekwondo, pero es como un reflejo mío. Okay. Como, yeah. Teacher. Yes, Silvia. I will have like to have one of those leash. No. <laughs> For your daughter. Yeah. Because. Why? People think it's not a person, it's for animals, but it's more um, anxious uh, to think that in descuido. Uh, uh, in a careless act. In a careless act, uh, my daughters run and they, uh, they hide. They hidden in, in the middle of the clothes and the, I don't know how do you say los mostradores de ropa? Okay, like in the shelves, those are sort of racks, like clothes uh, racks. In the middle of the racks. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel, I feel anxious because when I don't watch the, my daughters, it's very, very, I don't know. Delicious. You feel yeah. worried, I guess. It's, it's worrisome. Worried, yeah. mm -hmm. And because I I I went alone, it's difficult for me to pay attention every time when I have when I have when I have to to buy my my food or mm -hmm. something for for her. Oh, so are you pro-leashes? Are you in favor of, of having kids on a leash? Uh, and now my daughters, yeah, they are, don't do that. Uh, how old are your daughters? My daughter, my, the first one is 13. Oh. And the, the small one, uh, she have, uh, she, she have? She is. She is. Sorry. It's okay. She is eight years old. Oh, okay. No, but they are grown up. So they are not like like a toddler. So they are not like five, six, or I guess they are not that terrible. <laughs> because but 13, my, uh -huh, you, it's a little bit different. So the people doesn't know that things, but in my case, it was very useful that leash, but I don't, I didn't have you one. Didn't of have one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so in the past it would have been really useful. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Guys, what about the next one? Do bad manner people upset you? So bad manner is people who have, I don't know, um, they do. A they say the words. Fernando? They say bad words, like bad words. Yeah, but not necessarily. So oh. bad manner is that just people don't behave accordingly, you know? So oh. maybe they say bad words. Maybe they spit on the ground. Maybe they... Unpolite um, people. Uh -huh, unpolite. Kind of impolite people, yes. But that is bad manner, right? Or with uh, bad education, bad, bad educational habits. Mm -hmm. So do bad people upset you? Or not really? You don't care? Or do you feel annoyed? I, I feel annoyed because um, I don't like when, for example, I say good morning mm -hmm. and, and the people uh, like. uh, be quiet. And okay. I think it's uh, uh, a bad education, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Bad manner, yes. 
That's about uh -huh. manner. Okay. Bad oh, manner. Okay. So when people don't reply, okay. Anything else? In my case, I hate when the man, uh, I don't know, make peace in my uh, in my uh, uh, in front of my house. Oh, or yes. behind a, 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 a tree. Around the tree, yeah. I yes. know. Uh, I know. Okay. Yes. Okay, but and that's part of our culture, I would say, that men normally do it. So I think it's something cultural. I'm not saying it's good, I'm just saying it's cultural. So take a look at a couple of expressions that we can get. We are going to like try to mix everything between feelings and also some gestures. Um, when we are angry, when we are happy, when we have actually a lot of body language, right? So here we have a couple of expressions um, that we can use, right? Look at the pictures, guys. Let's take a look at the words we have and let's try to remember when we do these kind of expressions. For example, the first one is frowning, right? So we frown uh, normally when we are angry. So we do this, right? Uh, so you mark part of your forehead. So yeah, I think I'm frowning, okay. <laughs> so do you frown <laughs> normally when you are angry? Is there any other moment when you normally frown when the lines hitting your forehead get super marked or wrinkled? I saw some people that always are frowning. Mm -hmm. That's right. I think I do have some wrinkles because I don't know why, but I frown and not because I'm angry. <laughs> so we have frowning. The second one is not our culture, but it's bowing, right? So it's more for uh, Japanese culture. Um, I don't know if Chinese do it. I think not that much, do you know? I just know Japan have this culture. So it has the, the culture of bowing. It's the, most of Asian, it's the most of Asian people that Asian? do that. The most of Asian people, yeah, they do that. Because I have seen some Korean uh, soap operas, <laughs> but they don't bow. They just like nod their head and that's it. So bow is like from your waist, right? Like in front of a person. But, but the maybe. Most of Chinese, the most of them do that. Yeah, right. So yeah, probably China, Japan, Korea, um, I don't know any other. Thai, probably Thailand. Okay. The other one, guys, is uh, we have fingers, but we will check that later. We have cross arms. Okay, so normally we can call it crossing, or you can also call it full arms. So pretty much is exactly that. You know, you, you cross your arms, you fold your arms. Do you have these gestures? Do you have this body language? Do you normally do it? I think this is for children. Okay. The no, children, when the children do. are hungry, they <laughs> okay. cross their arms. Okay, they cross their arms. All right. What about you guys? Do you normally cross your arms when yes, you're waiting? When Hi, Cody. I usually cross. Hi. I usually cross my arms when I'm paying attention uh, to someone when someone is uh, speaking to me mm -hmm. and I cross my arms to I don't know if I do it to be more focused I don't know mm -hmm. okay <laughs> but I have this habit okay okay sounds all right yeah we do have some uh, I don't know some gestures that we normally do for example, I normally move my hands, you know, and not it's not because I'm nervous, but it's just uh, to keep focus, you know. So normally I'm playing with my fingers or I'm tamering. Tamering is like this, when you are moving your fingers. So I'm like tapping something or I'm playing with my fingers, but it's not because I'm nervous, but because I normally do it. So it's just in my brain, you know. The other one, guys, I think you have seen this in emojis. So we have rolling eyes. Do you normally roll your eyes? So are you like, um, yeah, so do you roll your eyes? Yes. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, it depends when you are I thinking. Have, when you're baby. thinking. Yes. Oh, okay. Any other situation when you roll your eyes? I do it in the sign of love. Really? <laughs> so I'm like, okay, yeah. Okay, so I look up, right? So rolling eyes is looking up. So when you're thinking or when you are like, really, are you serious about that? Okay. When do you, uh, so when do you, when do you see uh, people that no like for you or? Mm, people you don't like? Okay, yeah. really? You, uh... Like a sign what? of. Oh, whatever. <laughs> or, or when you are tired to listen to a lie. Oh, listen to a lie. Okay. Yeah. When you know the person is lying to you. Okay. When you're tired of listening to a person, I would say. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or, that's right. When you are being sarcastic. I do. When you're know. being sarcastic. Okay. Yeah. Um, so when you are not in agreement with another person. Okay. But you express it like in disgust right like saying okay whatever yeah okay okay yeah what about pointing what would you say do you think that it is okay to point at people do you do it like pointing like using your fingers to point at the other person when you told us you are right oh okay okay yeah that's right when do you do you do it having no, you're no. A discuss or, or you are fighting. I don't know. Yes. When you want to blame. Yes. Okay. So when you want to blame someone. Okay. Yes. So blame. When you want to tell the other person, you did it. So you are responsible. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you want to blame the other person. All right. All right. Yes, Dago? I think that this signal. We don't use no. We use uh, we, now. We use uh, bumps up. We use thumbs up. See, yes, we uh, in, in general, mm -hmm. all people use thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Yes, the, I would say that is the most the, common, right? The, From the all of these. Is, the the pointing is. Would you say it is impolite? Yes. Is pointing impolite for you? For me, yes. Okay. So for you, it is. All right. I, I guess it, it, it really depends, right? On the meaning or on the things you want to convey as well. The other one is palm. I have to be honest. Uh, I, I think I have never used that one. So like palm right showing somebody your palm how do you use it no right oh well when the no. time when it is enough there is no more time oh stop okay like okay oh okay like to show a stop okay yeah yes. i think i think i don't use it and i think i miss this one that is the sure, thumbs up maybe come down Calm okay. down, calm I down. Don't, don't yell me. <laughs> oh, okay. Like to calm down a person. Okay, okay. Asusana? I, I don't it's understand. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Uh, thumbs up is this from Facebook. They like. Ah. Uh -huh, so that is thumbs up. Yes. That is ah. super common now because in Facebook, okay. when you have a like, so you give a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. so that is a thumbs yeah. up. I like, like Can sign of approval. In the chat, please? I'm sorry? Can you write in the chat? Uh, it, it's this one, the, the one that is here, it, the last word from the first line. So thumbs up. The thumbs up. Okay. Yes, that is thumbs up. So that is sign of approval. All right. So guys, which of these, we do have a lot more especially when we are talking about body language, there are a lot of things that we do, right? Um, for example, when we are angry, when we are um, flirting with other people, okay. So what other expressions do you have, guys? I think in the, uh, in the context of the pandemic, mm -hmm. uh, usually the people, uh, I don't know, put the hand, she has this, 
I was like, I don't know. Oh. The, the, like a, like a shake. Uh-huh. 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 It was not a handshake, but it was just mm-hmm. like, a, yeah, let, let me think about it. I would say a wrist shake, probably. But let me think about it. Knuckle shake? Okay. I'm going to I'm going to check it out in a second. But that's right. So in, instead of a handshake, so people use other other ways, right? To say hello for example. Okay. Yes. Any other guys? Any other like expression that can represent what we normally do with our body? Well, when I am nervous, I touch my my ear. Okay. My, like playing with your ear? It just I touch the. Okay. Is the, when when I put my ear in. So you're playing with it. I, I usually I usually touch. Okay. This. Uh, when you cross your finger is a signal of uh, lucky, no? Okay, yeah, I use it that way. <laughs> when, so, do you, when do you disapprove? Mm-hmm. Other twice like thumbs up? Ah, thumbs, oh, thumbs down, exactly. So we have thumbs down. Okay, thumbs down. Yes. High five. High five, okay, yes. Do you do high fives? I only do it with my niece and nephews. I have, I have, I have. <laughs> okay, so any other? In El Salvador, we have a lot <laughs> and a lot more. Okay, now, what about with your face? Let's uh, think a little bit about some things that we do with our faces, right? Um, every movement that we do has a name. Yes, tell us. In the video, if you saw the video, you saw a couple of expressions. Um, I don't know how to say guiño. Oh, I mean, okay. So that is wing. I mean, my mom. When do you? Uh, exactly. <laughs> like still, like when Sophia. I'm when do you refer when about I'm something? I'm... Oh, so you you use your lips to point. When the lips you can. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's right. How do you say señalar? Point. <laughs> point. <laughs> you use your lips to point okay any other guys there are a lot for example um when you are busy when you're eating and you cannot speak so and you want to say yes so you normally know it right so you're just like and that's it and we understand that this is a yes so that is a noting and the other one would be this one so we shake we shake our head Right, like to say um, no. Do you have another one? Um, how how do you say when do you, for example, notice yes? Is no? Is like mm, like you are thinking about it? Okay. And, like do. swinging? Uh-huh. Yeah. Probably uh-huh. swinging. Uh huh. <laughs> When you're hesitating. Now, no. for example, what is your opinion about about my book? Is uh, is nice or is not 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 as nice? Not as nice. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> like, mm. and you shake like, your hand. No. And you right mm. ah, okay. You talk with the wait. <laughs> okay. Uh, that, that is not right. It's <laughs> like uh, well, our uh, head. Yes. It's like shake our head. I think. Yeah, because that sounds more like disapproval. So that would be shaking. Otherwise, maybe not uh, sure it's swinging. About... Uh-huh. So swinging your head. I would say. Okay. Or playing. No, swinging would be the one. Sounds more. Okay. Any other guys? Do you remember any other from the video? Mm. I don't know if this is from the video, but when do you uh, point uh, some people, for example, hey, your friend is coming and this person don't like you? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> 
How was that? How, how was that? Wait, I don't use that one. <laughs> For example, was, you are talking like... with your friend and you say, oh, your BBF is coming. But this person is coming, don't like you. <laughs> I don't ah, like you are being sarcastic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. When you're sarcastic well, about what do you do? BBF. Huh? Your so, BBF is coming. Oh, it's walking here. Okay. It's so, like a roll roll the dice. Uh -huh, okay. Like I roll rolling. the dice and, and uh, shake your head. Uh -huh, and I it's would a, say it's a mix. <laughs> oh, it's a your, combination. With your, with your eyes, for example, oh. mm, you point with your uh, eyes. Oh, yeah, that would be like probably rolling rolling side to side uh -huh. or the most common that is rolling up like mm -hmm. yeah from side to side but okay okay you have a lot of expressions i haven't heard for that, for the <laughs> pandemic, i i written like this for the pandemic i written like this you were greedy like like no dean or with my hand a yeah. bowing so that was bowing okay Okay, as like I said, I'm It's a Boeing. Now I change. Yes. <laughs> That's Boeing. Uh, as I said, I'm sorry. I think Bowie? you had something to say. Yes. It's like reverencia. Mm -hmm. Like when you do this. Yes. Or, for example, oh my goodness. Uh, oh. Okay. okay. It's yes. like when you forgot something. Uh -huh. Oh, I forget. To do the the, the the I forgot the, the exam. I, I forgot to pay my bill. <laughs> yeah, the so bill, I got the that cards. very often. Okay, yes, I said that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I think when somebody uh, tells you uh, something that you don't know and and you don't answer, but you shake your shoulder like uh, ah, you shrug. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. yes, 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 yes. So you shrug your shoulders, exactly. So it's yes. like this, right? Shrug. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Yeah, we do have a lot. For example, when you are a uh, flirting, right? So when you're flirting with somebody, so you have like a lot of things that you do with your face, with your eyebrows, with your eyelids, etc. So we're gonna like get into that in a bit. Guys, because of the time, I have some questions that we can discuss. Give me one second here. Let me just present this second part. Okay, take a look at this one. This is just for vocabulary purposes. So let's review it super quick. It says, um, let's complete it with the word that you consider is the most appropriate. At the end of the play, the actors to the audience. What can they do to the audience? Pointed, nodded, or bowed? When you have like, when you are in the theater nodded. and there are some actors, bowed. they bowed, exactly. So they are like bowed. this. Bowed. Mm -hmm. And nodded is just like this. Uh -huh, so nodded is only like your neck up. Bowed. Okay, yeah. so that's bowed. Number two, I asked Mary if she was okay and she shocked, or nodded, is... or patted. Oh. I think it's nodded. Noted. Okay, so that would be noted, right? Yeah, shocked, okay. not really because it doesn't say what, and patted, but it's like this. Like when you say, hey, hello to your friend, and you're like, hey. Right? So that is pat, uh, pat somebody. Mm -hmm. Exactly, that's pat, pat somebody. Okay, number three. He goodbye as the train left the station. So he goodbye. This is? Wave. Waved. Waved, exactly. Wave. So this is waved, all right, to say bye-bye. So he waved goodbye. You can say he waved goodbye or simply he waved. Okay, and that's it. Number four, he said, it's a secret and I don't trust him. So it's a secret and let's take a look at this one. Uh, shrugged, the normally letter C is the one that we use for the shoulders. Wink, right? Wink. That is like you close, winking is when you close one of your eyes um, I am terrible at body language, but it's like, 
you know, something like that. And the con is, it can be something like this or like this, right? Like to tell a person, come here. So it's a secret and I don't trust him. What do you think we can use in here? Winked. Yeah, so that would be winked, right? Like when you tell somebody, hey, I'm going to the beach, right? And you wink. So you close one of your eyes to tell a person, cover me, okay? Or it's a lie or something like that. All right, guys, let's get then into the speaking practice. Let's take a look at the following uh, questions we have here. Uh, this is related to feelings, to emotions, and also to gestures. Um, number one says, are women more emotional than men, or is it just a stereotype? When are emotions a problem, right? Um, so emotions can be that you're extremely nervous, that you're extremely excited, that you're extremely anxious. angry, anxious, or happy. That can also cause a, a, an issue, right? So when is an emotion a problem? And what are some gestures that are common in our country? And what do they mean? In El Salvador, we have gestures that are bad, like really bad. <laughs> um, so what are some of the, how do you call those ones? What are the most common and uh, what do they mean? Guys, I'm going to ask you to join the group so we can discuss them. Uh, you can take a picture as always, and let's talk about it. We have like 10, 12 minutes to discuss. So enjoy it, guys. It's all yours. Let's go. Let's go. Don't forget to take a picture and go to the groups, please. I think I think that women uh, like to cry more than 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 men because for the for the same reason you know that uh, the people say that uh, the men don't cry and, and something like that. I think the men to provoke the the woman's cry. The most <laughs> part of the time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> maybe. <Yeah>. maybe. <laughs> I think I, it depends on the, on the for, for the person because I I knew uh, um, a friend that he he uh, 
has the uh, ability to to show his feelings without any difficulty. But I think uh, so, this um, not happen with all men. Uh, yes, I got it. They are like uh, an exception. I don't know. But I think it's for um, the, mo the most uh, common is the woman. Uh, we are more emotional than, than men. Mm -hmm, because a man used yes. to be ma um, ma matching. We, we, I don't, I don't know how to say in English, but uh, machista. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't know. But he's uh, a person. That would be, who... Sorry, that would be chauvinist. Chauvinist? Yes, that is chauvinist. Uh -huh. uh, chauvinist. Okay. Maybe. And give, give us some, some. your opinion. Yeah, I want to say something about the first question. I think because I believe that the way that you grow up and the way that your parents, uh, I think that is racist, the correct way to say that uh, when I think because it's the way that the men were raised because it's normal like the mom say at the boy when our child don't cry don't cry if there is for girl so the girl is normal cry when happens something yeah. when it's when it's kid you know when it's uh, still a baby for me still a baby is when have two three maybe five years old. So I think that it's not because the man is like, you know, like rule, like don't feel it, nothing. It's because even that from baby, the family, the parents uh, are no change. Like don't cry because it's for girl, you know, don't uh, don't show your feeling because there is no, the, that, is for, that is done for the man, you know? So I believe that it's not the, it's not the, the I don't know who say that, the society, yeah? Yeah, it's not because the man is like that way, it's because the, the way that like a mom, like a parent, we raise it or they owe our kids, you know, or baby. So yeah, I think that my point is that, I think because if the way the men were raised, but uh, the crying is is one emotion and be, but when when we get angry or we are angry angry i think the man is more emotional than the women because the men uh, get angry so fast I think, oh, and they and they fight, and they fight, and they fight oh. like like uh, cats and dogs, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. So, <laughs> it's yes, depending on it's it's depending you. on the motion, I think. <laughs> when I want to hear the man's opinion, guys. It's only Adrian here, <laughs> and not <laughs> Luis Abrego. Abrego. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> <clears throat> yes, I think that the, in my opinion, uh, I think that the old men uh, think they are um, are more strong than the woman because. Uh, the the men uh, believe uh, more hard. I think that <clears throat> that is my opinion. Okay, I got it. Okay. The Adrian. Other... Adrian. 
Tell us. Man, the defense your points of view. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, my opinion for the first topic is I will not be a stereotype uh, because it's the emotion or feeling uh, emotional for women and the men too. Uh, a stereotype will be machismo. I don't say in English. Chauvinist. Okay, como? Chauvinist. Chauvinist. Okay, yes. and when uh, they happen, they are the problem. When they have mm. yes, the souvenirs. Uh, yes, it's like. Chauvinist. I don't know. Chauvinist, thanks. Is yeah, it's very, it's, it's very, it's very Come. problem. Yeah, is for second topic is aggregate uh, that uh, chauvinist. For yeah. example, in the news in the uh, after day, is it the the by medical and the doctor in women is suicide for more willing, more more bullying. Oh yeah, I got it. Mm -hmm. Is well in a stereotype, it affects us at the person, is the more of the problem. Yes, all of us are, are humans, no? The emotion is about the, the human, I think. Yes. It's not just for the, the women or the men. I think it be, be very hard. Uh, a job and I I am very stressed and I think uh, could my my job in this moment because I don't manage my emotions. Oh yeah, you maybe that manage. had happened uh, to everybody. I think when the person At is uh, time. when when the person is very explosive, how I can to. But tempered. Uh -huh. Exactly. There are a couple of expressions you can use, for example, short fuse. So when you have a short fuse, or you can say hot header. So that is like you get angry like this. <laughs> so <laughs> mecha corta, teacher. Corta. Mecha corta. Uh -huh, like mecha corta. So short fuse or hot header. <laughs> short. Okay, uh, I'm not I wrote them in the chat. I left them in the chat. Uh -huh. But in this case, it's a very All problem. People think I am angry, but no, I'm not angry. Uh, but in a the, job, the problem is the problem. And just what the bosses are a short fuse. Imagine, for example, when do you uh, did a mistake? When do you made a mistake? in your boss what happened with you man <laughs> yeah you don't want to he, job here you don't want to work here <laughs> he resent you in front of your uh class yeah. uh, your partner co-workers co co sorry co-workers um, maybe you feel like problem? seriously maybe it's a problem when you uh, take a decisions when you are in this uh, kind of emotion short fused <laughs> yeah you should be able to handle your emotions better. Okay, the last one. Irving, uh, what are some gestures that are common in our country and what do they mean? Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Apparently, the. When you say the yes, finger. but you don't believe it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's like it's like I trust you, but I don't trust you. Which one? When someone is talking to you and, and you don't believe. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, mm, I would or, say uh, you can. I don't know if that would apply, but I would go like humming. I think humming. Uh, yeah, humming. So humming is like that, like. <laughs> Uh -huh, like when you oh, use your, oh, your yeah. sounds, I don't know if there is any other word for that. <laughs> or, okay. or when you write in your in the chat, mm. 
Oh, yeah, the M. <laughs> M represent that. Okay. How oh, where you are. When you are on pension, you move your feet. Ah, oh, you start like shaking your something. legs. Uh huh. Yeah. That's right. Like, uh huh. Do you do that? Do you normally uh, shake your legs or your move your feet? Yeah. Your legs. Yeah, sometimes I, I did or I do, and so um, it's inconsciente. How can I say that? Consciously. Unconsciously, yeah. it was a reaction. Uh -huh. You need to wait for a long time or waiting for someone or whatever. That yes. reaction. I think that we have some specific gestures that we don't control anymore at some point, right? Uh, so as you said, unconsciously, we normally do it. So um, what are yours, guys? What are your gestures? Mm -hmm. I I guess that my gesture is uh, like a angry face, like this. So you frown normally. You kind yeah. of frown. Okay. Yeah, it's like an angry face. Okay. Can can I say uh, shake the finger for to say no? Okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> quite interesting. <laughs> really, do you do that? <laughs> okay, so you should. Oh, that's cool. Okay, yeah, I, I haven't seen a person do that in a long time. <laughs> okay, what else? When I was a little girl, I remember that it was super common for girls or boys to stick your tongue out when you were playing with your friends. Uh, so normally you like, like show your tongue stick your tongue out right oh uh, yeah like to i don't know to express that you were kind of bullying that person or that uh, something yeah. was funny <laughs> uh -huh, so that's very I, common yeah stick the tongue out any other mafalda and felipe i think play that uh, tongue uh, with the tongue mafalda and felipe they play. You remember? Yes. Tongue out. Uh, well, oh. no, not really. I'm not familiar with that. <laughs> uh, okay. Do you know Mafalda? Yeah, that's Argent from Argentina, right? Yes. It's a cartoon. It's a, a, uh -huh, cartoon, but cartoon it's, very, yeah, it's a critical, sure. uh, I don't know, ch a little woman. I and think I have seen her. Like with a messy hair. It's a famous yeah. uh, person teacher. So normally uh, they stick the tongue out. But uh, it's a, it's a, I don't know, it's a, a play with Felipe, I mm, think. Okay, I'm gonna look for that one. <laughs> I think it's been a long time I haven't uh, seen my father. The gestures for to eat. Bye. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, there is not a name for that, but uh -huh, yeah, <laughs> normally we use it. <laughs> okay, guys, unfortunately, time is about to end. Give me one sec. Let's go back. Oh, my God. Thank you, guys. And I'm sorry for bringing you so abruptly. Um, time ran really fast. And I guess we learned a couple of expressions, right, that we normally um use right um some of the gestures that represent a lot for us so everybody has different ways to communicate when you're happy when you're angry and that is what makes us unique and different um just uh, uh, in the groups i think we came across some words that before leaving today i wanted to practice with you um pronunciation because they can be a little bit complicated so guys, uh, repeat with me, please. This is so sa ya ri society. Society. Okay, so that is society. And the other one, the one that you have right here, that is chauvinist. Chauvinist. Okay, normally you can say chauvinist or chauvinism. Let me explain the meaning of this. Question one was about men and women. Uh, our country, 
has a lot of cultural um, aspects in which men are more predominant than women. So to that culture, we call it chauvinism, right? So like um, a machismo, that would be the one. So chauvinism is the general word and chauvinist is la persona. So you can tell a person, um, for example, you can say, oh, it is so, uh, it is so chauvinistic, for example, right? When you're talking about um, a specific, I don't know, a specific uh, behavior or a specific gesture. But if you're talking about a person, I can say, for example, I don't know, this is just an example, Adrian. So Adrian is so, but because he's a person, I, I'm going to use the word chauvinist. So Adrian is mm. a chauvinist. So chauvinist, chauvinism or chauvinistic. So that is machista or machismo, right? That is one of the words that um, I saw, like you were trying to look for. And the other one is society, right? So uh, it, that, there are four syllables, so society, society, just for you to try to practice it more. And tell me, Enrique. Teacher, uh, good evening. Hi. Um, and th there are uh, any women that are chauvinist. I remember uh, uh, old woman that take care of my my first son. Mm -hmm. That she said the the men are better than woman. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the 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 woman said that this. Uh, the, the men are better than the woman. Um, I have heard, uh, believe me, a lot of different opinions about it, that women should have babies, women should be at home, but I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's okay. a patriarchal culture, no? Yes, it's a cultural thing. All right, guys, we will continue talking about this because I think we have a lot to say uh, about it, right? But we're going to keep it for Monday. Guys, just remember, we are finishing classes on Tuesday, so I'll see you all Monday, guys. Have an amazing weekend. Enjoy it, and I'll see you on Monday. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.